The lives of four men, who were fathers, brothers, and sons, came to a screeching halt on Wednesday night at the hands of a reckless driver. The men, 45-year-old Noel Pineda, 47-year-old Matthias Gonzalez, 41-year-old Ian Mahler, and 21-year-old Christian Lobos were heading home to San Ignacio in an Isuzu vehicle when it was slammed by a Dodge Ram pickup truck. Assistant Superintendent of Police says the group attempted to avoid the collision, but their efforts were in vain. Investigation revealed that Alejandro Hernandez was driving the Dodge Ram pickup when he overtook a vehicle and collided into the Isuzu Amigo vehicle causing the injuries to the persons. They are saying that the the drum vehicle overtook another vehicle and did not have enough time to get back into his lane and he collided with the Isuzu vehicle on their lane. Gonzalez was rushed to the hospital where he succumbed, while the others died on the scene where debris and pieces of metal remained scattered across a portion of the highway near mile 62. Damaris Alaya Pineda's wife described the ordeal as a tragedy yet to sink in. She was at a loss for words but managed to speak about the father of five and how his death will impact the family. I was waiting for him yesterday to come home and he didn't reach. And this is very, very sad. And I'm very, very disappointed, very mad because of the way of the way that it happened. It wasn't his fault. They just tried to avoid this this driver that I don't know. Well, the, the survivor um, said that uh, this man made it overtake so much vehicles and they saw it, but when, when um, then they overtake he, it was too late for the for the whatsoever the pickup. I think it was a pickup or a gas truck or something. It was too late for Gonzalez's wife Maria Vasquez. His death is yet another blow to her already aching heart. Vasquez recently underwent surgery and said her husband was the one nursing her back to health. I see him for morning when he left. He left me by my bed. He just come and hug me and kiss me before he left. But I never me expect he never me and come back home. I never me expect my my Kamala he may go so quick because we never we we may had so argument or nothing. We he bring me from the surgery Sunday evening when we live so happy. We may enjoy and everything. While Vasquez lost her breadwinner, Lobos's mother lost her youngest son whom she described as a hard-working and humble man. She says that despite a gut feeling that something was wrong, her son hesitated to tell her about the tragedy. Yo solo estoy a lo que me vienen a decir, lo que yo oigo, lo que... Pero yo sé que mi hijo... Mi hijo... Yo ni sé, no, no sé, no sé qué decirles porque yo no... Ah, como yo conocí a mi hijo, conozco a mi hijo. No, porque él... <laughs> As for Ian Mahler, who also worked construction at the Camelote Golf Course, he was merely a hitchhiker with hopes of getting home. Unfortunately, while those hopes were crushed, 29-year-old Melvin Ramos, 24-year-old Eric Delgado, and Astolio Garcia are praying they'll make it out alive. It was a tragedy. I mean, more, four, four men, four lives. Father, mother, wife, kids stay without, without their dad, without their brother. It's very sad for me. It's my friends, I have friends that his husband dead, his son dead. My next friend have a husband at the hospital right now in a very bad condition. May God have mercy on the ones that survive because they're fighting for their lives right now. The other two that in the hospital, I just hope they get better. For these women, the hardest part to grasp is the fact that the men were not at fault. They are now demanding justice for their loved ones. No matter who I stand right now, but if anybody come and say, you know, you know something, out the end they ask for justice. I go in out the under for support because I know I had my Kamala right there, right? I know he had three picnic and he left his picnic by himself. So many people 
have been driving like that and they don't do nothing. Kids getting knocked down because of drivers like that and they don't do nothing. Persons drinking and they still drive and they don't do nothing. They need to do something about this. While the woman may want more than a month's larger charge, police say it is the best they can do. Alejandro Hernandez uh, is in custody. A urine sample has been obtained and he will be charged uh, for the fatalities. What type of charges are we looking at? Uh, manslaughter by ne negligence and drive under do care attention. The families, they are saying that they would probably want more because they understood that, you know... Oh, do, those are the charges for uh, traffic accidents. That is the maximum charge that can be levied. Vigilvarez, Love News.